Okay, so a couple of months have passed since I recorded the video or this video, but um, I just want to say that all of these techniques work because I went from about, I think, 12,000 at the time I recorded this video to now I'm at almost, no, I'm at 40,000 now. So I'm at 40,000 followers on TikTok. And um, actually last month I went from 30,000 to 40,000. So I gained 10,000 followers in about a month. So just to let you guys know that these techniques that I'm using to grow on TikTok at least. So yeah, enjoy the video. Y'all, YouTubing is not easy. <laughs> okay, hopefully this is like straight. If it's not, let me adjust that. Okay. And today, <laughs> y'all, why did I sound like a teacher? Okay. Hey, it's Patience. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is more... Yeah, this is probably entrepreneur. I'll add this to entrepreneur, whatever. I'm going to give you tips on how to utilize TikTok to benefit your business. Yeah. Before I start giving you tips, please subscribe. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, let's start. <laughs> all right. So obviously the first thing you have to do is make a TikTok. And make a TikTok specifically for your business. So when I first made my TikTok, I'll show you what my, I guess, feed, my TikTok page looks like. It wasn't specifically for my business. I posted um, little, um, yeah, little videos of just myself and my friends and also um, little I guess, snippets of my YouTube. So it was kind of random and then I moved more towards it being a business TikTok. So for your t business, make a TikTok specifically for your business. All right, the second point. So I actually have two TikTok business accounts. One for Draft and Beauties, which is my makeup brand, or my just my act, my brand. Or yeah, honestly, it's more than just makeup. Stay tuned. <laughs> so, for that, for my Draft and I have palettes, and I also have lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. So my second tip is to post the when you first start off, post the varying items in. Um, in your business or what you're trying to sell and if you're only selling one item or one type of item post it using different things post it post it post of you making it post of you going out to shop for it post just any little thing that has to do with that item if you're only selling one item but if you have multiple items post a whole bunch of each individual thing in your business the next thing you should do after posting the varying items or the varying pictures track which pictures which videos with what sort of content has the highest views and like ratio so tiktok is great in that i love you keep giggling you know people can hear you giggle in my video shut up michaela y'all excuse my sister Z. my sister's <laughs> okay so tiktok is great in that it has millions of views and consistent views for each hashtag so when i post a video i use hashtags that have the most views which is actually opposite of instagram that's what i find on instagram when you use the one with the most views you're less likely to be seen but on TikTok, when you use the hashtags with the most views, you're more likely to be seen because when you go on TikTok, it's automatically just videos playing and playing. So you use the hashtag with the most tech views that relate to your content. So those views, it's great that people are seeing them, but 
is anybody who's actually seeing your TikTok interested. So that's why you need to compare the views to the like ratio. And your pictures, videos, or your content tent that has the highest number of view and um, like ratio is the kind of content you need to post more frequently because that's what people are actually liking from your business, you know? So let's say you post two separate videos of two different things from your company or something, you do two different things in two separate videos. One video gets a thousand views, but 20 likes. The other video gets 20 views, but 19 likes. At that point, you probably should post more videos of both, but you should have a little hint that the 20 views and 20 likes has a higher ratio of people actually being interested in what they saw when they swiped up and your business page popped up. So keep track on which content is getting the highest ratio of views to likes. The next step is to, yeah, I think I already said that, <laughs> is to post that, that content um, that has the highest ratio of views to likes more frequently. It shouldn't be the only thing that you're posting because then it gets boring on your um, TikTok. Your followers would get bored seeing the same thing over and over again. So, but it should be the most frequent thing you post. So if you post every single day, four or five times out of those days should be about the most freak, the, um, the content with the highest ratio. So you figured out the ratios, whatever, whatever. You need to add personality and character and funky sounds. And you know what I'm saying? TikTok is about being creative. It's not just you going around, hey, buy my lip gloss. There's a lot of people selling lip gloss. Dollar Tree sells lip gloss. Beauty supplies sell lip gloss. So you have to add your personality in it. So for me, I find funky sounds, I find trending sounds and like trends that, um, there's this video I actually made that was like, this is so stupid because it's exactly who I am. It's, <laughs> it's really like goofy and it's the sound of like, I'm only human. And I like, I'll actually just post. <laughs> posted when I made this I was like this is so dumb like what the heck this is so stupid and I posted it and it's currently my video with yeah with the most likes on my TikTok my a single video that I was this is so stupid is the one with the most likes and almost the most almost it's the second highest view on my TikTok but it's the highest like so it's actually um it actually has the highest ratio that's the video that i had personality in that i was just being goofy <laughs> so it tells you that people aren't just there to buy lip gloss or to buy your product they also want to be entertained they also it's tiktok that's what they came here for and whenever this is another tip i forgot to add in the beginning whenever i post any sort of content on tiktok in the comments i write um I write something funky like um, that has to do with the video, but then also promote my business. So I'd, if I post, I'll, I'll leave an example, but I'd be like, get this glow at drawfinbeauty.com or feed your addiction at drawfinbeauty.com if, if it has to be, if it's relevant to um, what I posted. So, and I always, Listen, I always like my own video and I always like my own comment. Hey, just get the ball rolling. If somebody watches a video that has no likes, no <laughs> no comments, they're going to be like, oh. But if it has at least one, they know at least one other person believes in you, even if it's just yourself. They can't see that. So like your own comments, like your own videos. Help yourself out. You'll be your biggest supporter, let me tell you that. <laughs> but, um, can you guys even see me? I don't know. Let me fix it. Okay. 
Okay, so the main goal of all these little tips and tricks I've been talking about so far is to get you to a thousand subscribers. TikTok has this thing where you can add a link to a website, but it can it's only activated when you have a thousand subscribers. So you can put your website name, you can put, you can copy and paste the URL, but it's not a clickable link. So the whole point of this, all you're doing is to get a um, clickable link right in your bio. So when people swipe, the first thing they're gonna see is obviously your picture, your video, and then beneath it is the link of whatever website you want. And hopefully that's gonna be your business link. So you're gonna do all of this to get to a thousand followers, which I'm gonna show you is actually so easy on um, TikTok. I'm gonna show you, well, this is, this is about how I got 400 plus followers in a couple of days. So you're doing this, you get to a thousand, you do all of this consistently, you post varying um, videos with your personality, with funky sounds, with just added fun, because that's what TikTok is. And you post most frequently the type of content that has um, the highest ratio of views to likes. And you've been doing that and you finally get to a thousand. You finally get to add that link in your bio. What do you do next? You keep doing what you've been doing. You keep doing what you've been doing. And if you notice a shift in trend in which content is getting the highest ratio, then you shift and you do that content more frequently now. So it's just really about learning your audience. I've learned my audience, because my page is mainly lip gloss, has been like younger girls, like almost preteens and teens. And so I I appeal my con my content to that now or I'm starting to do that more now that I know. So I'm actually gonna show you guys I probably will do this at the beginning of this video. I might have, I don't really know. I'm gonna show you guys the um, my notifications for the couple of days I was talking about and the amount of followers I got after I posted that specific video. So, y'all it's hot, but I look good though. This one, my lip gloss is all, my lip gloss is gone. I can't even find it. So I can't even add more. But any host. Sometimes it's soft as a misty rain. Thank you. I can do it. Yeah. I hope um, this helps your business and I hope this gives you motivation. I know having a small business it gets really discouraging y'all i spent a lot of time being very sad about my business because it's like dang the people i thought were gonna like be pushing my, my stuff down people's throats basically are not doing that so it's i watched a video she was talking about how um it's usually not your own that are gonna support you sadly and she's talking about how um her friends or people she thought was gonna really support her didn't really start supporting her until she got to 4,000 plus followers or subscribers and um, yeah so you just got to keep pushing somebody out there even if it's a total stranger really wants to hear what you have to say really probably wants to buy your stuff so just keep pushing keep creating don't give up if you need to cry go and cry but get back up and get that ish done you know but that's my little tips on how to promote your business on tiktok and how i grew and how i'm still growing my um business and businesses on tiktok and you best believe i'm going to be using these same exact strat strategies <laughs> these same exact strategies 
strategy 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 the same exact strategy i can't say that word the same exact strategy <laughs> for my boutique i hope this helped if it did or if it was entertaining please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up and i will make more entrepreneurial videos more entrepreneurial tips all right guys see y'all in the next videos bye